I am Dr. Neeraj Varyani, Senior Consultant Interventional Cardiologist working at Care Partners Heart Center, Mariampur, Kanpur. Today, I'll be briefing about the latest updates in hypertension management. As we all know that hypertension is a silent killer and it is one of the important causes of cardiovascular diseases leading to morbidity and mortality. So I thought I will update you with the latest uh, guidelines in management of hypertension. As we all know, India is a hypertension capital of the world and the prevalence of hypertension has gone up over the last three decades to almost 38% in males and 32% in females. And despite the high prevalence, most of the patients, nearly half of the patients are undertreated and underdiagnosed Many patients are unaware of their condition and even if they are uh, aware, almost half of the patients are poorly treated. The reasons being lack of awareness about hypertension, lack of appropriate care through primary care and poor follow-up. As per the International Society of Hypertension, they have released uh, uh, latest global hypertension practice guidelines and they have included two terms of optimal and essential treatment paradigms to address the issue of resource poor settings like ours. For optimal care, they refer to the evidence-based standard of care, whereas essential standards refer to the minimum standards of care. As per the latest AHA and ACC guidelines, they have released a scientific statement in 2021 and they have given a guidance for management of stage 1 hypertension with low ASCVD risk, that is, among low-risk adults with no ASCVD or 10-year cardiovascular disease risk of less than 10% with stage 1 hypertension, that is, the systolic BP between 130 to 139 and diastolic between 80 to 89. The management, they have recommended to start with non-pharmacological therapy like salt restriction, Atkins diet, daily walking and exercise, smoking, abstinence. If blood pressure remains uncontrolled after three to six months of non-pharmacological therapy, then we should consider starting the pharmacological therapy. As we are living in a COVID-19 era, there are latest suggestions and they were published in the American College of Cardiology Journal. They reported that metoprolol can reduce lung inflammation and improve respiratory function in people with COVID-19 induced ARDS. Lowering systolic blood pressure targets to below 130, that is between 110 and 130, it will substantially reduce the cardiovascular adverse events as in the STEP randomized trial and it affirms the sprint findings which were seen for older Chinese population. As we all know that in the latest European guidelines of 2018, they have given prognostic value to ambulatory blood pressure monitoring and nighttime blood pressure monitoring. They have recommended that the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be dependent on office, office blood pressure measurements, but also on out of office measurements such as ambulatory blood pressure monitoring and home blood pressure monitoring. 24 hour and nighttime blood pressure measurements, they are associated with greater risk of morbidity and mortality. For every 20 rise, 20 millimeter mercury rise in systolic and 10 millimeter mercury rise in diastolic above the normal levels, the risk of mortality increases by 23% and the risk of cardiovascular events by almost 36%. As we all know that most of the patients with hypertension, they require lifelong medical therapy. So as per the latest European guidelines, they equally recommend the five classes of antihypertensive drugs. And as we all know, with increasing number of drugs, the chances of non-compliance also increases. So they have given importance on combination treatment, particularly for those with stage two or stage three hypertension. Therefore, the 2018 European guideline they recommended, especially in the context of lower BP targets, to start antihypertensive therapy with an initial dual fixed dose combination of an ACE inhibitor or ARB plus a calcium channel blocker or a diuretic. Since early July 2018, 
many products containing valsartan they have been recalled worldwide the reason is the detection of the carcinogen n nitroso dimethyl amine which can be found in arbs like candy sartan irbi sartan lo sartan olmi sartan and well sartan and ndma has been classified by who as one of the carcinogenic agents in humans and therefore the presence of ndma in these drug could lead to additional cancers so we should be uh, careful while prescribing these drugs as per the latest hygia study that represents the largest study that tested chrono chronotherapy was associated with a significant reduction in end points as we all know that classically the anti hypertensive drugs are prescribed uh, upon awakening in the morning and sometimes after breakfast but as per this hygia chronotherapy trial it tested whether the night time therapy in comparison to the usual upon awakening hypertension therapy it whether it exerts a favorable cardiovascular risk reduction or not and almost 90 19000 patient were studied and ambulatory blood pressure measurement was performed for 48 hours to collect the data on how bp differed during sleep and in this study the relative risk reduction for cardiovascular events was significantly improved for night time treatment as compared to the awakening treatment so these were the latest uh, updates in the hypertension management thank you